what's going on everybody welcome to 8-bit brawl episode 22 yes 22 8-bit brawl it is about damn time uh it's been a long week but you know what we're gonna have some fun tonight uh this once again uh, i want to thank everyone for tuning in but also uh my little donation thing above we had enough money from the donations so far in order to get us to all in in Chicago. So for now, even though we're still on the way to the goal, we've at least got the tickets secured. So thanks to you guys, Mike and I from Divas Dropkicks and Dives are all in. So we're going to have some fun tonight. Like I said, we're still taking donations to get, you know, hotel airfare and stuff like that planned. But... Man, it's going to be pretty magical, man. I'm, I'm having a great time. I'm really excited about that. So without further ado, let's get the night started. Let's go to our GM, General Manager, Kevin WK, and see what's going on in the 8-Bit Brawl universe this week. What could this be about? With him, hey, you know this yeah. Be good. My shirt's going, uh, my, my beard's going in my shirt. What does he have this week for us? Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know why I sounded like that. It's Kevin WK here. We are going to have an amazing week for matches this week on 8-Bit Brawl. Every title is on the line tonight as we are just going to start switching things up. We just want to see titles go just defended almost every week make sure that uh we keep new blood in here so we're gonna have some title defenses tonight but we're also gonna have some other stuff going on as well because i care about the 8-bit universe and i want to make sure our fans get the best possible show they can we're also gonna have weird gimmick matches not tonight but more like that kanye one last week the kanye battle royale memorial you mad bro? dot com whatever so. that was called <laughs> So yeah, it's going to be all kinds of good stuff, folks. So make sure you tune in tonight. We're going to have a lot of good times, and I'm hyped. A little late to that one. He paused the thing he was going to say. Okay, cool. So I'm still smack talking. This thing goes on forever, my promo performance. All right, cool. Now I'm leaving the ring. What did we just see? Wow. What did we just see? I love it. Let's get it going. So yeah, there you go. There's our opening segment. Uh, like I said, they're all the titles are going to be on the line tonight. Uh, so including tag team titles, which haven't been defended in a while. So like I said, I'm getting to the point where I'm just going to have people defend constantly. They're going to be they're going to be fighting champions. So whoever's going to have a belt is going to earn that shit. So we're going to start this match off though with a singles match. Group of uh, two dudes who've never fought yet. Ryan versus Paul with Windrus in Paul's corner. So we're going to have some fun with this. Later on in the night, Windrus is going to get a title shot against Ants for the women's title. So it's going to be pretty good. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of fun matches tonight. Uh, I tried switching some things up. Um, I'm going to try to come up with some more gimmick matches. I'm really hoping WWE 2K19 has a lot more to offer in the universe mode, like storylines and stuff like that. Ryan's here just in time for his match. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping there's more stuff like that because I really want to make the universe as creative as I can. And I'm kind of using all the tools I have on this one. If I, if, if 2K19 has some more tools that would just get it right over the edge. I want to make it as entertaining as possible for you folks. All right. There we go. Get to these entrances. Are you ready? Ryan starting it off. First one to walk down that ramp. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. He's hyped. Making his Doing a little pre-match stretch. Yeah. From New York. Weighing in at 180 pounds, the total package, Ryan K. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, Michael. we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. 
Yeah. The thing that's going to suck about 2K19 anyway is I'm going to have to rebuild the whole universe. I'm going to have to make everyone from scratch again. And I feel like I did a really good job in 2K18 as far as like our likenesses go. I will never dress up for you. Oh, Ryan. Oh, you are. Okay, that's a good. Now, okay, that's a good accurate. Okay, I thought you meant like. Okay, that's awesome, man. I, however, after my trip to Chicago, I've gained like eight pounds, so I've got some work to do. But I'm back in Kansas for a week <laughs> before I got to Texas and add eight more pounds. There we go. Pull, pull. And his opponent, accompanied by the Saints, and from London, England, weighing in at 220 pounds, the professional Paul H. <laughs> Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But oh. no such luck. And of course, quick thank you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. Yeah, and happy Halloween, everyone. Saxon got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. Yeah, he's just ripping on Byron. Poor Byron Saxon. Here we go with the first match of the night on 8-Bit Brawl, episode 22. <laughs> that dude did not want to sit down. Oh, right off the bat, Paul goes and grabs Ryan, kicks him in the stomach, flips him over. Ryan did not look like he liked that one. Good old-fashioned wrestling match. Good old-fashioned wrestling. never get tired of watching these guys compete. As we get started, guys, let me just say how great it is for us to Oh, with an Olympic slam. Paul working on Ryan's neck there. Oh, Ryan slowly getting to his feet. He's gonna punch Paul in the stomach. Oh, there's one. To talk about K. You're the so-called expert. So what can we expect from him tonight? I can't wait to see how this. Oh, fall away like slam. It. Both of these guys look or, like they refuse yeah. to lose here tonight. Well, now that we're underway, it should start to be. Oh, now he's working on that right arm. This thing. Oh, twisting all around and slamming it on the ground. Paul is hurt and Ryan is pissed. Irish whip to the ropes. Oh, He's Hurricane Rana from Ryan. Here. Ryan's going up to that second rope. That's oh, amazing. body His splash. Body oh, Paul's quick to get off of that, though. Works on Ryan's arm this time. Oh, and another Olympic and slam. That's two in this match. Oh, and he goes for the kick, but he swiftly misses. He gets the second time, though. There's Drop kick nice right move. to Ryan's back. Momentum not on K's side Ooh, here. Ooh, a backbreaker. Like he He's down. really working on it. it Yo, what up, Paradise? What's up, Serious? Welcome to the stream. Too much up to this point, but that right now, it's Ryan danger. versus Paul with Windrus as his manager. Doing awesome, Paradise. He Welcome to the stream, man. And he gets the shoulder up. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. No reverses it. H nice. That's awesome, Ryan. But he's very Ryan with a drop kick to Paul to now. And what he has to do to rebound. A little kick to Paul's hand there. Working on that arm again. That right arm is really taking some punishment. Oh, and slams it down again. WWE locker room here. Ryan could be setting him up for a submission. Just wearing down that right arm. No oh, kicks him in that right arm again. No, that was in the left arm this time. Oh, no, oh knee to the stomach for Ryan. Paul taking him up. Oh, a almost a power bomb. Ryan reverses it. <laughs> one, just a one. The ref was real slow to count on that one too. Armageddon. Ah, I see what you did there. Oh, oh my God! Ryan goes for his finish. This could be it. Is it over? Moves like that have a way of reverberating throughout the. What's Ryan gonna do? He's working on that left arm now. This could be it. Oh, the right. 
Paul reverses it though and gets to the back. Now Ryan's going up and he's falling down. Talk about taking care of business. Yeah. Especially since you can be traveling a lot. Just a one count on that one. Ryan's still very much alive. Thankfully. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Oh, Paul's looking to finish this. He's setting him up for his for his finisher. He might have it. Oh, here he goes. Oh, and that's gonna put Ryan out. Can he do it here? Oh, Ryan kicks out at two, and Paul is beside himself. Paul's still working on Ryan's back after finishing him, trying to finish him. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got Fireman's carry drops Ryan's head on the turnbuckle and opens him right up. Oh, but he reverses, and Ryan is pissed. Kicks to the stomach. Hurricane Rana from Ryan. Head bleeding. Kicks uh, kicks Paul right in the face. Oh, arm drag. This should do it right there. Wow, it doesn't get much closer than Two count. That. Ryan's still around. His opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Paul's opening up Ryan even more. That face is bloodied. Like superstars are running on fumes right about now. Going to the turnbuckle. Ryan reverses into a DDT. Ryan's pulling his body away from the rope so he can't kick out of that that way. Nope, he's going on that arm again, working on that arm. What he's not giving up on that right arm of Paul's. These gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. Oh, going and for that pin to finish it. Two, two count. Kicks out at two and a half. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. <laughs> His opponent included. Lamb down. As this guy. Drop kick to Ryan's back. Yeah, it's been a reversal fest. Oh, and, and slams down Ryan again. This, this could be it. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. One, two. Oh, man. No, that Ryan kicks out again. Paul can't Can believe, believe it. This? That's just nerves at this point, He's folks. Paul is looking to finish this once and for all. This could be all she wrote. Oh, Ryan again on that back. There's no way he's kicking out of this. If he does, I don't even know what I'm going to do. That's going to be it, folks. One, two, three. Paul with the win. That was a good match, though, man. Ryan put up some defense, but in the end, Paul just got those reversals down. That should have been the end for Paul right there. But Ryan never pinned, pinned him. What's up, Random? Welcome to the party. Good to see everyone here. Welcome to the stream. 8-Bit Brawl, episode 21. And that's a win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. That's true. 420%. Hey! <laughs> Get ready to see a Here we go. The tornado the tag match is going to be Space and Jesus and Chub Rub versus PN15 and, and Link B. Tornado tag team match. Uh, if we get enough people serious, I'm down. Uh, like, if you guys all want to play golf, let me know, and we can form it. We can get that going. Got it. Next year on 2K19, I'm putting... I don't care how big the game is, I'm downloading it to my solid state. 
20 fake bucks on the left side. <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll call them shroot dollars or shroot bucks. Fist. There you go. Shroot bucks. S C R. S C H R U T Z. Shroot. No, well, not no Z. Shroot. S C H R U T. It's like shroot coin. How is that not a thing? That's got to be a thing. Byron, I got to say, you seem like you're ready to jump out of your seat in anticipation for this one. Yeah, it's either excitement or there's actually a good chance. Shroot. I ate too much SCH. I, I thought it was SCH. Dwight Shroot. Fuck. Yeah, see, I got it. Superstars are excited to be able to compete tonight on Halloween. Would you stop, Cole? Do you really think these superstars care about a silly holiday like Halloween? The only thing they care about is winning a match. Twenty shroot bucks on the left side. There you go. All right, we got twenty shroot bucks going for Space Jesus and Chubrub to win. Who wants to take that side bet? Everyone wants to take that bet. Oh, right at the bat, Space Beast gets flipped, but he he got a good punch in on PN15. Oh, PN15 with the two uppercuts. Chubrub working on Link IB, though. Nope, Link IB reversing it into a neckbreaker. PN15 running around like an asshole. He's going up to the top rope, high rent district, while B is on the ground. Is he going to hit? No, B moves. Oh, what the hell? Link B is flipping Chubrub out. Space Jesus is bumping he heads with uh, PN15 there. Oh, Fireman's Carry, PN15 reverses. Oh, Chubrub takes a horrible flip. Oh. So far, the robots, the androids are uh, in, they're in, in front there. Oh, no, Power Bomb! Reversal from B to PN15. Link is a circus act. Can he end it quickly? No, a kick out. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Damn. Like Those kicks to the knee. Oh, uppercut from Space Jesus. Oh, but PN15 is answering back another a so good jab. For him to take into account here in this tornado tag match. Something big is coming. Oh, oh breaks his section. stomach. <laughs> oh. He's able to He's throwing the rule book out the window. Fireman's carry from Chubrub. There's an open <laughs> choke going on right down there with Space Jesus and PN15. Ref isn't doing anything about that. He's simply Chubrub that getting the crowd huge. hyped. Not so fast. Top three rest, favorite wrestlers of all time. Oh, all man. Guard. It's it's really hard to say because there's so many amazing wrestlers. Um, I gotta say like Daniel Bryan is in my top three. I, I don't know if I can give it a top like I don't know if I could do a one two three, but like three of my favorites I would say would be probably Daniel Bryan. Um, there was there's somebody from Kansas City, and I know this there's an independent wrestler from Kansas City named Jeremy Wyatt that always puts on a fucking great A match. 
and I've got to see some amazing matches by him. And so I would say he's one of my top three wrestlers of all time. And the third one, uh, it's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Oh no, man, that's a tough one to ask. Because I can think of so many other wrestlers that I just like watching. I would say right now, even though I've never seen him live, Kenny Omega. Like, Kenny Omega is is unbelievable. I mean, AJ is too. And so is Shinsuke. Like, not WWE amazing, but like back when they were in New Japan, they were putting on some fucking amazing matches. I'm not a big fan of Hogan because when I was a kid, yes. Oh, damn. Okay, PN15 comes away with a win there. Um, when I was a kid... I liked Hulk Hogan because I didn't know any better. But like when I grew up and actually started watching wrestling, it's like you realize Hogan only had like four moves and yet like he dominated. It made no fucking sense. And he was one of those dudes, once you learn behind the scenes, he wasn't a great guy to work with because he would always like want to be the top star no matter what his age is, no matter what shape he's in. And he's kind of, he was steal the spotlight from younger talent. So... I later in life I had I had an issue with Hogan. I'm not a fan of Hogan's. But man, and Stone Cold's another one. Like The Rock, Stone Cold, like a lot of those guys, man. Amazing. Triple H, yeah, another amazing wrestler. Shawn Michaels. Against an imposing adversary. Let's do it. Yeah, see, it's hard to say your top three, man. It's just like there's so many. And like I said, the, the fact that I got to see some I got to see some all stars in the in the in the NWL, like the besties in the world. Those guys wrestle wrestle around. They're in Ring of Honor. They've done other stuff, but man, the besties in the world is one of the best tag teams I've seen. Same with the Regal Twins. Uh, the Regal Twins are young dudes, and they are on fire. When you ever get to see them wrestle, you'll have a good time. Like there's so many people that are just underappreciated. Maverick, uh, he's going by. I think Maverick Mantel right now and he's another one like he looks like he would be in WWF or WWE and he's got like that old school wrestler like just like move set and everything like it's really badass there's so many wrestlers but like I said I mean obviously it's easy to like the WWE and like the, the more well known wrestlers but take a look at your independent like your independence man you might see some stuff that'll blow your mind that's right under your nose like I said that's why I'm really sad about the NWL going the way of the dinosaur because, like, they had some real fucking talent. Thankfully, Metro Pro was able to get some of them to come back. But, man, it's... All that talent under one roof was just... It was a treat to see every two weeks. From Dallas, Texas, the real deal, here comes Debbie. Oh, the champ is here. <laughs> You're defending tonight against Sawbone. All the titles are on the all the titles are on the line tonight. Debbie's gonna have a grudge match with Olga. So yeah, like I said, I I cannot say enough. If there is a local wrestling federation by in your in your town or city, check them out. You might you might see some gems. You might see somebody on the up and coming. Or you just might somebody somebody put on a hell of a match that you know that you may never get to see otherwise. And her opponent, <laughs> Paradise once says. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match. That would be. <laughs> I, would, I wish they had the JR commentary, the old school JR. And of course, great thank you New school JR is just him really confused. Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. Man, that's two in a row. Thanks, guys. Here we go. Debbie's been on a hot streak lately. So she let's see if she can continue it by beating Olga. Olga's got like a you foot on her. Oh, knee to the face. Some battle, one -on -one. Starting off. One -on -one. Olga grabbing the hair and flipping started, guys, Debbie. Say how great it is for us to be back here in Biloxi. 
Oh, like another knee exactly to the forehead. Takes oh, the not going to win hard right. With that move. Knocks her into that corner. Oh, she's working on her with a knee, a knee choke. What's your take on what Reed has been yeah, doing? Yeah, I hear you, man. How Work consumes a lot. Done in this one? Are these two going to dance around the ring all night or actually attack you? Oh, Debbie Let's finally go. gets her bearings and another gets that arm is, hold, arm drag on her. Tools to be a great one in this division. Going we'll for a weapon already. From here. Oh, sledgehammer. Got it. Oh, right in the That's stomach. And Olga's down right in the back damage. now. She is hurting. Debbie disposes of the hammer. She's going to go for that pin, try to earn, end it early. Very curious Just the one, though. At this point. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Okay, well, then you need to turn your streak around, and tonight's a good night to do it. <laughs> Nicely done. Suplex by Debbie. Oh, reversal from Olga. Pushes her away, then goes for a clothesline. Debbie rolls outside the ring. Olga's posing. Here they are fighting outside the ring now. Oh, Olga throws Debbie to the ground on the ramp. Oh, Reed starting to weaken some like roadie tackles uh, Debbie onto that on tonight. that ramp right Guys, there. This is where all that self-respect she has pays off. Sure, she's taking on some offense, but she's confident enough in her game to bounce back. Oh, fireman's carry from Debbie. She comes up big with a reversal. Clearly on a mission here. Oh, <laughs> Olga falls on her way to the ring. That's what you give her running in heels. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like Oh, this. on the hard part of the and ring. Olga's oh, man, face is bruised. Right Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. That's the only way it's going to happen. She's looking at it. Exploder. She comes up with a slam. She got all of it there. Debbie's going for it, but it's a little close to the ropes. Can you believe this oh, just a one. She saw the opening and got the shoulder. She's going to have to go for a disarmor to try to get uh, her to tap. Now. <laughs> yeah, it does do more damage. There goes the disarmor. Is all going to be able to break out of it? No, she's tapping and Debbie is your winner. That would be great. That would be actually really funny if that happened. I like how that's a replay of you just, not even the hit, but you walking away with the sledgehammer to put it away. To properly dispose of it. And then good camera angle. What? <laughs> That is the first submission of the night. Jer's here. Here is your winner, the real deal, Deborah Reed. Big win here to start the show. And you just know the rest of the card is watching. There's already been like two matches before this. This is the third match. It's not starting the show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank Jerks. We've been waiting a long time for this. Here we go. Here's Champions the first cha the championship on the line. Sawbone going up against the new champion, Willie Roma. Against an imposing adversary. The crowd is buzzing. Championship. The crowd is buzzing. Oh, hold on. Bum, bum, bum. Wow, Debbie's match was the first one that mattered. 
All right, let's get the first championship of four out of the way tonight. Let's see who's going to win. Yeah! The Thanks, Random. The is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the heavyweight of prestigious honor championship. Oh, shit. The underdog. One fall. <laughs> Sawbone says, never give up. <laughs> What's your pity one? You're still coming in the underdog, Ed. No, it wasn't a beer. It was just a Coke Zero. Sabun testing out the uh, ropes there. Yeah, random hero. Yeah, thank you. I forgot my keyboard does that. My keyboard does all these like different things when people donate. For the most part, yeah. I mean, I, I designed him a little bit more, but he's got like some Cody Road moves. Actually, Sawbone in 2K17 was like, he used the Stardust like move set. Here comes the boss. The head that runs the shed. <laughs> I like how his belt, like the straps are in the belt. <laughs> It's like added title effects. In the blue lights. <laughs> come on, come on, yeah, Jerry, you didn't know about that? He's had it ever since I've debuted him. It works with the story. He doesn't wrestle in it. That's just for his entrance. The saga title is on the line. Introducing the challenger from out of this world, weighing in at 220 pounds, the assassin. By the way, for all who don't know, Saturday is Jer's birthday. And Saturday he chooses to stream. So go ahead and, if you haven't already fit, followed 8-Bit Jer, go ahead and hit that follow button for him. But yeah, tune into his birthday stream. I think it'll be fun. Uh, I believe we'll all try to tune in, or I'll, I'll try to join him at some point, but I'm going to Metro Pro that night. But Doug will probably be around, and like we'll all have some fun that night. Do, you do a little drinking on stream, maybe? We'll see. Will Willie Rowe be able to retain his title or will Sawbone finally get what he's been working so hard to get? Nope, Willie's hands were a little clammy so he had to wipe them off. The superstars are ready and look at this. Wow, what is going on? Right here? off the bat, damn, Willie Roma's working on Sawbone. Looking at Oh, oh Superman punch. Behind it. Nobody does it better, my what boy. the fuck? Willie is gonna finish this up already. Does he have Roman Reigns' no, fucking moveset? 
the champion what the fuck? The champion retains. <laughs> I have no control over this stuff. I don't know why. The game is random as shit. <laughs> Well, that happened. Sorry, uh, Sawbone. Here is your winner, and still the heavyweight of prestigious. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Champion that was a little much. The brain, Romy. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Thrilling fashion? Know? He fucking. Hmm. Well, there you go. Congratulations, Ross, on retaining. The over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. Here's your next championship yeah, match, Windrush versus Anschick. Hopefully this will last five seconds longer. Hey, what's up, Ryan? <laughs> Welcome to the party, man. Yeah, that was crazy. And now Ed's never going to talk to me again. You did know me. I know. I can't control it. Sawbone just got brocked by Goldberg. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I don't know what it is. Ross became a champion and all of a sudden he fucking starts having squash matches. This should be a little bit more entertaining. I think this is going to be Windrush's first title shot, too. The following contest is scheduled for How long? Uh, it took me longer to set that match up than it lasted, Ed. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, it really did. It's a big-time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crown here tonight. And, Corey, I can tell you these superstars are excited bad to be game is bad. Hopefully 2K19, they'll, they'll solve you that. Really think these superstars care about a silly but 2K19 wouldn't come out until, like, October anyway. He said, so we've got a while with 2K18. I fucking love this song. No. Oh. <laughs> He's been sipping Jer's Super Kool Aid. Well, Jer's defending both belts tonight, so let's see if he can hold on to both of them. He's got the tag team belts with Doug that he's defending against Divas Drop Kicks and Dives, and then there is the uh, world title match against Little Stevie. Who the duck is Jet? <laughs> when autocorrect strikes. Here comes your champion. Get ready, guys. Big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Byron, I oh, she almost hit that banister there. Hans was cutting it close on that bike this time. I ate too much Halloween candy. I can't tell. <laughs> Ducking AC. <laughs> I like how Ed's correcting you. Here we go. The Brainberry Tarts title is on the line. The women's title. I should just call it the Brainberry title. The really. challenger from Houston, Texas. The Saints. Is it thundering outside? Or is somebody fucking around with a truck? Hold on. I just hear like, I don't know if it's random. Introducing thunder. the champion 
from New York, she is the women's champion, Jen M. This is all the makings of a legendary night. what that is sounds like there's thunder outside um i get in late wednesday night like around 11 i think i land in uh, i land in um love field around like 11 20 or something like that so it's gonna be late wednesday night unfortunately and these superstars look more than ready to but get then going here. i'm staying till monday evening I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, and she gets oh Paul looked offended at that hit right there by Ants. Uh, no, I, I believe Jeremy's picking and she me up. A lightning quick Jeremy and Ryan. Oh, Winger's going for the body slam. Gets the Ooh, slam. Oh my slam on Ants. Winger's drop kicks Ants right in the back of the head. Going to that second you know, rope. Taunting Ants to I get up. Tell you is these competitors have that fire in their eyes tonight. This oh, drop great. kick right to I Ants' head. Show her opponent and the rest of the WWE that she's going to be someone to reckon with for a long time to come. Winters is taking full control of this match. Oh, oh, suplex. Goes through this arena as the German suplex finds oh, its mark. Ants moves on that one. Hurricane Rana from Ants. That was impressive. Slapping fool silly here. Slams and or slams Windrus down with her foot. Oh, Huge move right there. Fireman's carry. Ooh. Oh, control your neck. They've got her in a head scissors and elbowing ants right in the head. I'm starting to take third some elbow deep breaths Ooh. in there, but she has the fight of a champion in her, which will certainly help her down the stretch. But it's still early. That's here, awesome. Guys. Yeah, I can't wait to see you guys. Heck of a lot more than this to keep her down. I mean, I may be able to do that. I could probably crash at your place on Sunday night. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well play strike on your own. Oh, Ants choking out Windrus with her foot. Oh. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah. Ants picks her up, about to throw her head in the turnbuckle. Oh, and slams Winters' head right on that turnbuckle. Oh, but Winters blocks the foot. She's getting up. Oh, and flips Ants down. Going for that pin. I don't think that'll be enough, though. Not even a one. Drop kick back to Ants' head. Another kick to the back of the head there. Working on that neck. Oh, Ants reverses into a reverse DDT. She might have it. Oh, with those knee strikes. Here we go again with another set of knees. Oh, knees right to the gut. Ants that could be going for the finish amazing. here. Nope, but That's Winders gets out of that with a with a jawbreaker. Oh, and then she went to taunt. That was a bad idea. Canadian destroyer coming up from Ants. Can she capitalize? I think we're at the point of this match. Yep, she's setting her up for the finish, and Winders is not here. ready. This might be it. Oh, kick to the stomach. DDT. Man, this could like spell trouble for Winders. Yep, like Ants is pulling her away from those ropes period. and going for that pin. It could be over here. Two. 
No, she's got oh, she's Winders kicks out at two. I think she's got some something left here. Very admirable. Did not expect that one. You have to wonder if she's risking permanent injury. She simply will She's running around the ring now. Oh, she's going high rent district. for sure. Top rope. Can she see it through? Oh, she's calling Winders, taunting her to get up. Oh, drop kick right to Winders' face. This could be it. Oh, she's using the ropes. Winders is able to knock her off, but man, the ref didn't see that at all. Completely illegal move. Oh, this could be Winders' finish. Incredible. This has to be it. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Oh, what are we doing here? Going for a surfboard. No, just working on those knees. seen the finisher already oh god here's a submission Winters has it locked in fully oh but Ants is getting her way out of it oh and gets elbowed in the face right, Winters does by Ants she has renewed life now Michael just carrying the opposition here but you can't carry your opponent all day you choke on that eventually. rope shoulders down this could be it Oh, man. two count. Winters kicks out. Bit of energy. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Oh, Winters is able to get out of it. The Holy shit! Bad way here. This might just be the beginning of the end of her championship reign. I don't think I've ever told her down. Championship on the line. Two. I think that's two. surprised everyone. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Look at her go. Head scissors again. Nope, but getting reversed by ants. She's too quick for her. Jawbreaker. This form of attack. Knees. Knees. Whoa, double knee drop. That might have done it, Cole. Oh, she's not getting up. That's a Just bad idea, Ants. This match is over. You're wasting time here. Nope, but Ants could be looking for the finish. Another yeah, DDT to end reason, this. I don't think this superstar is feeling all that flattered right no, now. No, she's going for a different finisher. She's using Winters' finisher on her. Is Winters going to be able? She's in the middle of the ring. She's going to end up tapping from this. You'd have to think hitting the finisher here could end this thing. Look at this. She no, Winters around. somehow withstood she it. Have a good reason for this call wow. She just had her Winters away from tapping. Winters got her own finisher used on her by Ants. That is that is crazy. Oh, and now Ants is just rubbing Winters' face in that mat. An elbow drop. Winters is brutal. Um, excuse me, Ants is brutal. One, two, three. And that's it. Just, Winders couldn't keep up with him, and Ants is your reigning, defending champion. Those knee strikes, killer. But toward the end of that match, Ants was just fed up. Winders did a good job, though, man. I really thought Winders was going to get this after that. But that, that's the way the cookies crumble. <laughs> I don't know if autocorrect is still <laughs> still working when you say which. There you go. Yeah, Winders put up a good match. Oh. You have good days and you have bad ones, Ed. Paul was just standing out there. All right, that's two championships down, two to go. This next one is going to be Jeremy versus Lil Stevie for that world championship. We have one of the best talents on the roster today against an imposing adversary. Nothing like a championship match. The last time these two met in a match, Jer absolutely squashed little Stevie. 
and there we'll see if history will repeat itself or bad days and badder days the positivity in this room is so much oh yes uh, I don't know if I showed you anyway here check this out this is the Cody Rhodes autograph that I got and then also that little stamp there is Bernard the business bear but yeah met Cody Rhodes that was cool Hangman Page. Uh, he's part of Bullet Club. So that was pretty cool, too. Scheduled for one fall. And it's for the World Championship. Sorry, I dropped something. Here comes little Stevie. I did. Yeah, I guess I did during the podcast. I don't know. I've done so many podcasts this week, man. I'm out of it. I just, we just finished up the 3D podcast before this. So. Stevie is a former 8 bit world champion. Tonight, he could win it back. <laughs> Damn. Good camera angle there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Here comes your current champion. He is one of two belts. He has that and the tag team belts right now. He's going to climb every turnbuckle, let everyone know that he's the champion. Total Jarrah thing to do. Introducing the challenger from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 170 pounds. I know, right? Yeah, I think if he's not doing his own stream or something like that. Yeah, no, he's normally here. Not tonight. Introducing the champion from Fort Worth, Texas, weighing in at 327 pounds. He is the world champion. So we got Debbie the going Bear, for Stevie. Jeremy what do you guys Jones. think? Man, my cat's been sleeping in this other chair and it's full of cat hair now. What a night. That's definitely thunder. Either that's thunder or there's like just constant barrage of planes flying over my house. No, I, I kept the chair in there. <laughs> and guys are because like I said, the cat would always, I'd come home guys. and Sarah, my, my cat, would be sleeping on my chair. So I just brought, I kept a second chair in there because she could sleep on that one. Weird. Stevie starting off. Oh, 
Jerry getting a good kick to the stomach there. Oh, and just flips a little Stevie. Oh, God. Punch to the face. Let's talk briefly about Jones. <laughs> what in your oh, DDT from here. little Stevie. Less, kick Cole. to the head. Little Stevie looking for a weapon. Jer taunting. Oh, little Stevie found a table. Oh. The anger from Bacon Man. Was he getting frustrated? Was he dying a lot, I take it? I didn't get to watch the stream. I, I got busy in the middle of... Uh, when I left, he was still playing Call of Duty. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. Oh, he's, he's going to choke slam him onto that table. Tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been, but there's a ton of potential risk. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys, and you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. There's a healthy dose of yelling and swearing. Oh, man. Oh, roll. No Jerry rolls uh, little Stevie back in the ring. You can find both of these. Nope. Oh! Deep six. six. Jerry's looking to finish this. That'll readjust your spine. Unless Stevie can get out of this, he's going to be in Here a world goes. of hurt. Stevie's down, and this could be it. This could be it. The force of that impact should there you go. Jeremy is still your champion. I don't know why this game loves Jeremy so much. But here you are. Well, let's see how Jerry's going to do in this next match, because he's pulling double duties tonight. He defended his world championship. That's definitely thunder. We're going to try to zoom through this last match before I lose power. <laughs> so if I suddenly go offline, it's because there is a lot of thunder going on outside my door. I didn't even know it was supposed to rain today. Let's look at that. Only I had some device that told me the weather. Seventy-seven in thunderstorms, but there's no warnings. At least light rain with thunder. Rain was coming down in sheets. Oh man, those are fun. I mean, they're fun when you're not in them and have no worries. If you're just at home trying to sleep, and I, I love sleeping during thunderstorms. That's the most relaxing thing in the world. It really is. The computer is in love. I, Debbie, that is such a great metaphor. That, yes. It, that is completely 100, 100% true. Divas drop kicks and dives. Looking to get their championship back. From the 8-Bit Geek. We have Pyro. Going up that 3D. There you go. The guy behind him made a sign. House is starting to shake from it. <laughs> That's awesome. Are you ready? Mm. 
Yeah, I don't hear any rain though. Just just thunder. Oh, I guess there won't be an episode of Brawl next week. What a great match we have here since I'll be night, heading Check toward uh, Texas for Comic Palooza. So I just realized that. And of course, quick thank you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxon He's saying got Halloween. dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. That's the third time tonight they've made that joke. We're giving him the ring for now. Now we can get this match started. These long ass intros. The Bruiser, Kevin W. K. Yes. Reed. Yes. Introducing the challengers. At a combined weight of 550 pounds. Happy Reset. Kevin W. K. Yes. And Michael Free. The Nerds. <laughs> the Bruiser. Kevin W. K. Why? Michael Free. And introducing Why? the champions. Why did they have to say our names like three times? Here we go. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready. Plant your butts in the seats. The loser. <laughs> Bruiser, not loser. Yeah, they predicted the match. Here we go. Mike goes right, right for Doug. Jer goes right for Kevin. Off. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. Mike's just headlock and Doug pushes him away again. There you go. He picks Doug up. Slam drops him on his knee. Jared's taking control over Kevin. He's got that he's got that shoulder lock there. The challenger's taking on some offense. Let's oh, talk briefly about Jones. I can't wait to see his plan of attack. What do you oh, shoulder thrust to Jeremy, taking Jeremy down, going for the early pin. One. And we continue. Way too early. Doug reverses on Mike, him good the kicks him right in the back of the leg. Two kicks. Neck breaker. Jer reverses. Clothesline. Eight bit geek and control early in the match. Oh, Pressing knee to Kevin's ball. face. This is a level of destruction. Knee to no Mike's face. Expecting. A hard right to Kevin's face. Jeremy's taking full control on his end. Doug is picking up Mike. Going for a suplex. So power behind that punch. Ke Jeremy's just laying into Kevin. Just punch, up, punch after punch. To catch him One right count. There, I guess. Definitely has his work cut out for him. Oh, Kevin <laughs> elbows Jer right in the bread basket. Oh, he goes for the oh, clothesline. Gets thrown outside the ring. Slams him down with authority. Mike's picking up Doug though. Oh, and he's still there. Irish whip to the ropes. Things Knee to the face on Doug. Right now. Looks like he got him real good too. Jeremy all the way up, working on the outside, kicks Kevin right in his if chest. A for a move, Mike's working on Doug's head. Knee possible. to the head. Jeremy's he's got Kevin up. up. 
you can't like throws him on the hard part of the ring how's this going on how's the official missing this this capacity crowd is beside itself he wants no part of the outside Irish whip to that turnbuckle that strike hit the spot uppercut no to Doug Doug rolls that out and goes for a spear and it's so hard to create that was out of nowhere tornado tag team match punch to Mike's face Kevin gets the clothesline on Jer. Kevin slams Jer down hard. Doug's working on Mike's head. Picks him up, going for another suplex. Successful. Kevin grabs Jer's leg and works on that. <laughs> oh, it looks like Doug hurt his own hand punching Mike. As the number one contender, he has to find a way to assert his dominance here. Hey, I respect his level of respect just as much as the next guy. But when you're inside that oh, ring, Kevin kicks Doug or uh, Jeremy right in the, the stomach. And just go right Going up for a neck breaker. Swinging neck breaker. Kevin's hyped. He's looking to finish. And a powerful forearm. That misses the mark. Oh! Close, Close lines Jer outside the ring. Meanwhile, my, uh, Mike's still working on Doug. Knee to the head of Doug, and somehow Doug's hat's still on. That is skill. The champ starting to feel the pressure a bit, and you have to wonder how much more the champ has to give. A very crucial part of the match for him here. He simply cannot. Yeah, Debbie, you down for golf after this? Too much momentum. Taken out with a rush of, he could pin his opponent right here. Oh, Mike didn't even give him the chance to count, and then he punked him out. He tried to swing at Jer, but it missed, so he goes back to working wow. on Doug. Missed by a mile. Had that one well scouted. Yeah. <laughs> no reverses it. Not the first time we've seen this move today. All right, so if the other two want to do it, uh, then we'll have enough people to do golf with friends. If they're in. If they're all in. It just doesn't appear to be the champ's night. Yeah, things certainly appear to be trending oh, in the wrong direction. Mike takes Doug right up. Now, guys. Drops him on that rope. Ball. Kevin working on Jer. Right out of you. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has an intimate. Will this be it? And he manages just a to one count the there. What kind of submission is this? that? Oh my god. I've never seen Kevin do that actually. Move. Doug breaks it up before Jer can tap, but Jer's leg is really worked on. It. Oh, he's taunting he Jer to get up. Mike reverses from Doug. Fisherman suplex. He can do it here. Got him good with the elbow two count. Now Jer is still alive. Meanwhile, Mike's working on nice Doug's back. Out. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Nobody controls the pace of a man. He's fighting. Somebody's back bleeding. Jer is busted he's open. Gang in there. Mike just got a spine buster there. from Doug. Got all of that one. And he gets him with a oh. We may have discovered his favorite move. Damn, Kevin just kicking Jer right in the chest. Doug dropping Mike game. on his leg. Shoulder break from Doug or from Jer. Hard right to the face. Thrown across the ring by Jer. Glorious DDT coming up from Doug. Oh, and that could be it for Mike. Oh, Mike. Mike eats the pin. 8-Bit Geek is still your tag team champions. Longest reigning tag team champions. In fact, I think longest reigning title holders at this point. Oh, man. I don't know what to say after that. It was a good effort put in by both teams, but in the end, the 8-Bit Geek was the better team. So the only title that changed hands tonight. Didn't did any title change hands? Nope, never mind. No titles changed hands. God damn it. <laughs>